Hello VC. Good morning VC. It's Thursday morning, 8 o'clock. But I'm able to shoot this video because it's Easter. That means five days off from work. I love that. Cheers. Mm, having a, a chocolate cappuccino. Lovely. Just a little dash of whiskey. That's good. Well, I'm back from my analog corner to shoot a, a new CD and vinyl update. And this update is actually what I've been getting since New Year. <laughs> I haven't been buying a lot because I don't have so much money as I used to, but buying, uh, buying some used CDs and LPs I can uh, I can get a little. There's also uh, a couple of new ones, but mostly used stuff. But I have 20 CDs and 10 uh, vinyl records to show, so you can decide what to to watch. You can just skip these first 20 CDs if you want to. But let me start with the with the CDs. I went to one of the uh, used record stores in Copenhagen called Accord. And they also have CDs, of course. <clears throat> Bought this Try John Mayer Trio. I like John Mayer in the trio. It's more raw and he plays his guitar more than he, he does on his studio albums. Uh, so, great pickup. John Mayer Trio. Try. Then I got Guns N' Roses. Or should we say Axl Rose's solo album, maybe? Because there's not much Guns N' Roses on this album. But I got it because I have read and heard that this uh, were or is one of the best mastered metal album in in history. Uh, of course, mastered by Bob Ludwig. But he's right, and it sounds fantastic. But I was actually surprised. It's a pretty good album. So great pickup, anyway. <coughs> Ozzy Osbourne, Black Rain. Also a, a used copy. I think I paid around uh, five or six dollars for these used CDs. Yes, even used CDs are expensive here in Denmark. Then I got my first Marilyn Manson album. What's it called? Antichrist Superstar. I did some research and found that uh, this was probably his, uh, one of his most popular albums. So I went ahead and got this and it's quite, quite good. I like it. I'm going to get, get more. Marilyn Manson stuff, but my first Marilyn Manson pickup ever. Then I got this Royal Hunt Moving Target album, and it was quite funny because this is a Danish uh, symphonic metal band, and I have never heard of Royal Hunt until my 250 subscribers contest where I asked people to show some Danish bands. And Robert C. showed Royal Hunt, and I had never heard of him. So that was quite funny. So, my first Royal Hunt Danish band CD found that for five or six dollars as well. As well with the Suede Dogman Star. I've never had this album on, on a CD, so when I found it for a great price, I thought, why not? And probably Suede's best album, in my opinion. So Suede, Dark Man Star. Cheers, we see. What do we call this Thursday in English? Is it Holy Thursday or Mondry Thursday? I believe I've read. I don't know. Then I went to a 
actually my I think we can call it uh, my local record store but it's in uh, another town uh, a town called Roskilde or Roskilde uh, that's where this big festival is held in Denmark Roskilde festival um, which is around 30 kilometers from where I live but that's my my best local record store they have moved from a small place to a bigger place so they had this grand opening and I went there and there were 20% off on all items even the used CDs which normally costs uh, yeah, six dollars so I got them for four and a half or something like that I got Alison Krauss and Union Station what's this called? Lonely runs both ways. I wanted to pick up a Alison Krauss CD because they always sound fantastic. And this does too, but probably a little bit too much banjo and violin on it on this. So, well, it sounds great anyway. Then I found Sarah McLachlan after Glow. Is it? Yes, I wanted to pick this up and I've uh, wanted to pick this up for several years. I heard this song, uh, what was it called? Answer. Uh, I watched this movie uh, with Jodie Foster called The Brave One. And the movie ended with this slow but very, very moody track. And I just had to find out who that was and that was Sarah McLachlan with answer so I wanted to pick this up as well Pink Floyd Delicate Sound of Thunder I only have this album on a Russian copy so I figured I'd get it on CD as well again for four, four dollars or something like that then another time I went to Copenhagen to dig a little and I went into there's several record stores in uh, in Copenhagen they are all in Copenhagen and there's a lot <laughs> that's crazy but this place which is a mess uh, there's record records on top of the bins everywhere so you can't you can't browse and and look for records and I hate that but I thought I would, I would check in and I went and looked around and there were stacks and stacks of CDs and I saw this lying on top of one of the stacks which is Pink Floyd yeah, Moments in Melbourne a uh, bootleg but I wanted to check it out but uh, I have kind of regretted it since because it simply sounds terrible oh my god so I'm not going to buy one of these uh, bootlegs anymore apart from another one I will show you in a minute and that's a whole other story but the sound fades out and in and it's, it's simply terrible I'm prob probably going to sell that. I'm, I don't think I will listen to it again. But I found this other bootleg as well. Prince, the early 90s live from 1990 to 93, which is uh, two, two concerts. The first is from Tokyo Dome in Japan in 1990. And the other one is from Estadio Macarana or something like that in Rio de Janeiro and then uh, the fifth disc is from TV appearances so that's five CDs in this little box set and since I'm a huge Prince fan I thought I would give it a go and the booklet as well and the sound is much much better on this one so I'm happy about that one, but the Pink Floyd is crap. Hope 
Let's have another sip here. We're listening to Screamer in the background there. The great VCLT I got the other day. And then I found a, a remastered copy of Lou Reed, Transformer. I have the vinyl, but again, this was very cheap, so I thought I would check it out. But I was a little concerned because it's re remastered and some of these remastered are just turned up loud as hell. But uh, I went to check on the dynamic range page and uh, it's good to go. So I picked it up and it, it does sound fantastic. The song Walk on the Wild Side with that uh, upright bass sounds fantastic. I love that. <clears throat> then I got Deep Purple, Stormbringer, also for about $4, a little cheap, so I wanted to get that one. Have to have some more Deep Purple and Rainbow for that matter. And then I got a couple of uh, new CDs as well. This is Dr. C Presents. Super Sonic Blues Machine and uh, the CD or album is called, is called West of Flushing, South of Frisco. Blues music, Southern Rock Blues music. Great stuff. I like the blues, I like guitars. And speaking of guitars, uh, I found out about this Danish band called Electric Guitars. I have mentioned them a couple of times in my videos. So I got their, their new album, Rock and Roll Radio, which is absolutely. It's just like the. It's. <laughs> how can I explain this? It's a little lame call, calling a band Electric Guitars, but. It's exactly what it is, rock and roll and solos and beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, I got their, lately, their latest album. Uh, maybe I should say that one of the guys, the guys with uh, the guy with the the shades there, is called Sir Anderson, and he uh, also plays with Glenn Hughes in his live band, and he also produced Glenn Hughes news album newest album so check that out but yeah great stuff and I also bought another one they've made three albums so I'm going to get the, the third also and this is called string fever great great stuff check it out if you can find it <laughs> probably not that available then I got Eric Clapton, this is a new one, Eric Clapton live in San Diego with special guest JJ Cale. We know that Eric Clapton is were, or were a, a good friend of JJ Cale when JJ were alive. But this is a fantastic live album and the lineup on this album are simply fantastic. It has um, Derek, Derek Trucks. And also David Brabham Jr. or something like that, he's called on guitar. So great, great live concert by Eric Clapton. This has to be my favorite Eric Clapton album. I know it's not a studio album, but this is the best Eric Clapton to me right now. Awesome stuff. You can easily pick that up if you want to. And I picked up this, the a couple of blues review and this is just heavy blues rock uh, this features two members of the band Godsmack the drummer and uh, the guitar player and then uh, yeah some other guys that I don't really know but this is probably or have probably been my favorite album album for the last month or so I just love the sound of the of the heavy guitars and heavy blues on this album so check that out the apocalypse blues review 
simply fantastic stuff. So, so that was the CDs. Let's move on to the to the to the records. But let me just turn over the record first there. So on to the to the records. I got this Dorje album centered and one. It's an EP with five songs. And this is by some YouTube guitar uh, stars. Rob Chapman and uh, Rabia, if you know those guys, they do some uh, some guitar demos on the Anderton's channel. But this is a fantastic EP. So check it out, it's, it's progressive metal. <clears throat> and uh, the vinyl looks like this. The labels there. Then I got Body Guy, born to play guitar. It's supposed to be like this. <clears throat> Just like that. A great blues guitar album, which is kind of uh, just Body Guy and, uh, and his guitar on some of the songs. Sounds great. A double album by Body Guy. Maybe I should say that uh, there's a hi-fi store in town and they have started uh, selling a, f a few vinyl to, to, to sell with their, with their turntables. So they have uh, around, I don't know, 50 to 100 records to, to choose from. So I thought I would go up there and check, out, check it out. It's not really a, a record store in my opinion. So. But they have a few vinyl to, to pick up. So that was the album and the labels look like that. I also got Eric Clapton and Friends, The Breeze and Appreciation of JJ Kale. I also got this album at that uh, high fi store, which is Eric Clapton and Friends playing JJ Kale songs. A lot of pictures in there. And the friends are Mark Knopfler, John Mayer, Willie Nelson, Tom Petty, and John, oh sorry, Don White. So great musicianship on this album, and that's probably all there is to it. The songs are, I won't say boring, but not a lot happening, it's just smooth all the way through, but it sounds fantastic. And of course there's some great playing on this album. With those guys, uh, here's one of the inner sleeves. And the vinyl, this is kind of funny, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Uh, the label on, the, on one side and a label missing on the other side, this is side B. So I could probably understand it if, if it was on side 4 or something like that, but the label is missing on side B. <clears throat> then I got this Spin Doctor's Pocket Full of Kryptonite. Great 90s album. I have the CD as well, but I, I never see this on, on vinyl, so I think I got this for $8 or something like that. So thought to pick it up and uh, it came with the inner sleeve as well and the, the label on the boring epic label there and it was it was nice to find this this was actually uh, bought at a at a local record fair we have a record fair two times a year and uh, of course I wanted to go and support it. It costs five dollars to get in and then you can browse through all the, the booths there. I also got Forkhead. This is their debut album. I believe it is. Great stuff. Again I paid seven or eight dollars for this. 
and here's the the label on the bear's wheel label. Then I found a sealed copy of the time pandemonium again for eight dollars I believe. So this is sealed. Should I open it? I have the CD. I will open it eventually. And I know you use for a sealed album. And then there were a booth where it was uh, three albums for what is that? Also eight dollars. And uh, one of the albums I got there were Rat Dancing Undercover. Came with the inner sleeve as well. I haven't cleaned this up yet, so it's dirty as hell. It's oh my god, Atlantic label. That was one of the very cheap ones there. Another cheap one, Kingdom Come. Also for around two or three dollars on the Polydor label. Haven't cleaned this as well and listen to it well then I found a rainbow album down to earth and I'll pick up every rainbow album I can and this is also on the Polydor label again this haven't been cleaned at all but this is not as bad as the red album, that was very, very dirty. Oh my god, let's have a little sip here. Cheers again. Mm. Then I found an upgrade copy of Genesis, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. I have uh, the US pressing on Echo label, but it's simply warped as hell. It doesn't skip, but it looks terrible going like that all the time. So I wanted to get another one. So I found this German copy on on the Virgin label. So I haven't given this a spin either. Then I found a, a new, not a new release, but a new reissue of Molly Hatchet. This is my first Molly the Hatchet album, Flirting with Disaster. A limited edition on colored vinyl. I also got this at the, this record fair in town. And uh, it was marked a little down, I believe I paid uh, $12 or something like that for it. No, not $12. $15. And should we take a look at the car on this one? Looks like this, pretty cool, matches the album, and that's the way to do it, if you're going to make colored vinyl, match the album. Uh, this was actually one I got at that uh, record store that moved from a, from a small uh, space to a bigger space. Steve Perry, Street Talk. Look at where they put that sticker, right in the face, <laughs> oh my god. But that must have been because it's marked down and they do something like that to irritate people, I think. Instead of making a, a hole or cut out or something like that, they can do it that way. <laughs> but it's a fantastic album, listened to it the other day, three times in a row, how about that? Steve Perry, Street Talk. So that was it. We made it through, me seeing. Cheers. Have a nice Easter, everyone. Bye bye.